Et derrière. Et derrière. Right, get the back. Look at my eyes, man. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. What time's this fucking interview in the morning? 10 o'clock or something. There isn't breakfast. I've not got breakfast booked. I've not got breakfast booked for in here, so that's alright. That means I can. Don't have to, like, get up and rush downstairs and get breakfast. Do that interview. I love you for the national Scottish paper, pro independent Scottish paper, but I'm I'm not talking about all that. Um uh, what's that? This means I can go out. Oh, I can go to the kind of coast, coastal bit, you know, the beach bit, not beach bit, um, go out there, somebody wants to take photos of me, some lassie, photographer lassie, don't mind she wants to do that, she emailed me but I've not checked it, um, right, go to Stonehaven, no I'm here, Lanky, I'm in, I'm in Aberdeen, I'm going to Stonehaven, Preferably, I don't even leave this fucking bed. The more I might go to Stonehaven. When I say some lassie wants to take pictures of me, what I mean is, is a photographer, female photographer who's taken many very high quality, very good pictures. Because I looked at her website and they're all like good things. Uh, and I was contacted with her, her somebody says there's this person trying to want, she wanted to take photos here before like the last thing maybe I don't know if I'm imagining that if you've got time to take it take for her to take pictures here and all the pictures they're no more like big concept things they're not like <coughs> Um, but they're all, they, they're not just like, they're not just like this, like, you know, there's something, there's always something a bit kind of interesting. So I don't know what she wants to do. I don't feel like getting my photo taken, actually, I feel fat. But that's all right. Piling on the pounds. Right, so what was I saying? I was saying, I was talking about something dead, dead. I feel fat, I feel fat. I feel fat. I've got, I've somehow got it into my mind that I'm fat. I need to go to the doctor. Doctor, doctor. Doctor. You need to help me. When I look in the mirror, I see a fat person. Um, right. Okay. Do you hear what I'm saying, Doctor? When, I mean, if you look at me, when I look in the mirror, I see a fat person. Okay. And... Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, doctor. Mm hmm. Doctor, if I read between the lines here. Mm hmm. I'm just going to leave now, right? See you later. Um.
doctor, tell me the fucking truth. Am I fat? Yes. Thank you. Finally. 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 Somebody tell me the truth. Um, aye, so Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry. Um, aye, so with my son, and I can't quite remember what he said, but every now and again, every day or every few days, something astonishing will get fucking said. In general, I think he's fucking clever anyway. The things he makes in his games, or the things he draws, or the things he says. I did this in this drawing for this reason. What's that there? I've got that there because of this. Oh! All right. Oh! Why did you put that in there? Because that's that and that's that. Oh, aye. What it appears to be, what intelligence appears to be, like, you know, if I actually try and work out what is it, what do I mean when I say something's clever or something, is you're taking, you're taking, like, a bit of information or something, and you're, you're kind of doing something with it. You're doing something with it to, to, like, to make something new. You're, you're taking something, you're putting these two things together, and mm. it's like you're almost doing a bit of kind of, a bit of fucking alchemy. And you're, 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 you're taking one thing and transforming it into something else that hasn't just been explained to you. It hasn't just been spelled out to you. If you take that and put it with that, then you're going to get that. It's like your mind's going like that. Here's something. Here's something. Now I'm just going to start fucking going through all the different permutations of what, what the combinations of these things could possibly be. And then... And your brain goes like, oh, here, wait a minute. Here, wait a minute. What if you do that, right? But then, with that there... But instead of that... Do it that way instead of that. Oh, that, that just, I don't know, it just popped in my mind. That, I would call that intelligence. Now, you could get into how much is a person responsible for their intelligence. It means they don't just pop it in their mind. Doesn't matter, I'm not talking about that. So I would say that Stephen Fry is simply knowledgeable. I have not seen one single piece of evidence that tells me that Stephen Fry is exceptionally clever, is more clever than your average person who's went through the fucking education, educational system that he's been privileged enough to be put through. Has he done, done it with, what about his very, what are they, what novels? LMR442, what novels? Have you read them? Oh, you're, oh, you've read them. You've read them. Right. Any cunt can write a book. Any cunt. I can write a book. You can write a book. See if you go on, see if you go online and you look at like, um, how to write stories. You look at, uh, in terms of novels or films and all that, you, People doing plot points and beats and story structures and three point three act structures, five act, seven act and all this sort of shit. Hero's journey or whatever the fuck it is. All these different things, reversals, inciting incident, all this sort of shit. You will see people have written big, big articles. They've done them. Um, 
they've done like spreadsheets on at which page number should you be hitting this bit, which page number you should be hitting that bit, what percentage through your story should this happen, that happen, etc. See these people, you don't know who these people are. And they say, I have written this, I've written this book and that book and that book. And you look the books up, they're nowhere, they're charting nowhere on fucking Amazon. You've, you've never heard of these folk. You've never heard of these folk. That's not to say what they're writing is shite. Just, you've just never heard them. My point is, any cunt can write a book. You might write a good one. You might write a shite one. You might write one you don't even like yourself. But you could write it, definitely. As Stephen King says, 2,000 words a day, 10,000 a week, 40,000 a month, 80,000 two months, 120,000 three months. Just, just write the fucking thing. So, no. Um, I reject. By the way, let's get back to Richard E. Grant. So, Richard E. Grant, just kind of recently. Is Stephen King intelligent? Uh, aye. Aye. He's got uh, an emotional intelligence in terms of how people feel and how they act. Yet, he has got some... Uh, Blind spots, I'd say. Me, I've got lots of blind spots. Lots of blind spots. Uh, what was I saying? Right. Aye, so Richard E. Grant, right. Richard E. Grant. So in the last like few months, Richard E. Grant's popped up. Because of this nomination, he got. And everybody's pure delighted for him, man. And there he is, like, sitting in the, the audience in the Oscars, like this. And everybody's pure happy and um, Richard E. Grant meeting Barbara Streisand is a mood. Oh, fuck off, you fucking bastard. And I'm just like, uh, yeah. Get his auty fuck, man. Get your zotty fuck, man. I don't need to be... I'll be happy for who I'm happy for in my own time, man. I'll be happy for who I'm happy for in my own time. No being happy for some cunt is a legitimate fucking emotion, man. No being happy for somebody is a legitimate emotion. In fact, actively no being happy for somebody is a legitimate emotion. Rejecting being happy for somebody that you've got no reason to no be happy for them for is a legitimate emotion. Legitimate. Legitimate emotion. Rejecting, rejecting your own impulse to be happy for somebody, fighting against it, and then vocalising and airing your views 
about how you're no happy for the cunt, whoever that may be, is a legitimate, legitimate emotion. And I saw him sitting there in his wee fucking bow tie. When I saw him sitting there at the whiskers, these wee bow ties, he smile at. And he's there with his fucking teary eyed, with fucking, oh, teary eyed, with fucking Barbara Streisand. Get the fuck. Oh, yeah, fucking down these knees with fucking Glenn Close like get the fuck Oh What a mood you're a mood as 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 a mood Get the fuck You know who I'm happy for? I'm happy for me and naked else. And see, half the time, I'm not even happy for me, man. Good things happen to me and I don't even give a fuck. Why should I give a fuck about you? I don't even give a fuck about me, man. Wow. Right, right troops, it's 25 to 2 in the bastard morning, I'm going to go out in my fucking, well, I'm in my fucking bed, I'm going to brush my teeth. Thank you, Lynn lives with us, I know, it's such a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching everybody, I'll see you in the morning on the webcam. Bye for now.